Well, hey, let me show you a couple of different ways to make a cloud in a bottle. Now, I'm not going to actually do this for you because I want you to experience what that's like. But I'll show you the materials and I'll tell you step by step how to go through it. So for the first one, what you need is a clear plastic bottle. Um, an iced tea bottle, like a Lipton iced tea bottle. This happens to be a lemonade bottle. Any, a two liter pop bottle works great, but you want it to be clear and you need to have a lid for it. So what you want to do is put some hot water in the bottom of the bottle. The next thing you'll do, and you might need your parents to help you with this, is light a match and then put the match inside the opening of the bottle and let it go out because what you want to do is capture some smoke in there. You can actually pour most of the water out so you can kind of tip this a little bit so you get that smoke to kind of gather in there. And you may want to do two or three matches at the same time. And again, maybe you want your parents to help you with that. Once that smoke's in there, quickly put the lid back on. Then what you need to do is simply squeeze the bottle and see if you can't create a cloud in that bottle, okay? The second way is to take a clear glass jar. This happens to have, have had peaches in it. I didn't take the label off, but you can still take the label off. I put boiling water in the bottom of the jar. The next thing I did was I took hairspray and I sprayed a little bit of the hairspray inside the jar. As soon as I did that, I took the lid of the jar and put it on top. And I kept the opening part of the lid, this part right here that has like a little dish, I left that standing up. And then I took some ice cubes and simply put the ice cubes in that dish part of the lid. Then I let it sit there like that. And I just watched it and I was able to form a cloud inside of the jar. Now the challenge for you is to figure out why these work. We know that clouds are simply water vapor and we know then that that water in a gas form sometimes gets to the point where we can see it and those are what forms a cloud. Then another Thing to think about is how do we get that cloud, that water that's in the cloud, to come back to the earth in the form of rain or snow or hail or sleet? So that's something you can think about. And the fact that I sprayed some hairspray into this jar is a big hint as to how that water vapor comes back to the earth in the form of rain. If you want to know that, I can build another video for you, but that's two ways that you can make a cloud in a jar. Let me know how that goes, okay? Thanks.